There is a ton of brand new secret and hidden free rewards available in the Fortnite Season 4 update and today we're going to be showing you guys how to unlock all of these in this video. Make sure you guys keep watching, there's some very secretive little easter eggs here that allow you to earn some free skins and other rewards that a lot of you guys probably didn't even realize. And of course, first things first, we gotta head to the item shop and send our daily gift to a lucky subscriber. If you guys want to receive a gift in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and also leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift. And a big shout out to everyone using supporter creator code NERP2 in the Fortnite item shop. I really appreciate all the support. It helps me out, so thank you so much to everyone that's using it. Alright, I hope you guys are proud of me. Unlike last season, I made an effort to discover the entire map, so there is no dark blank spots anymore. And uh, if you guys want to come play Fortnite Season 4 with me, I have started streaming over on Twitch again. A link to it will be down in the description of all the videos. I'll probably be streaming later today, so make sure to go check it out. And even though we have a new map, we're still going to my favorite spot, and that is Rocky Reels. So let's get a win and check out these secret rewards that you guys might have missed in the Season 4 launch. So first things first, the umbrella and glider that we are currently using is the first technically secret reward because there is no quest or anything that shows how to unlock this. But just like every other previous season, we've ever had in Fortnite Battle Royale's existence, how you unlock this free Chrome Brella Glider is actually what it's called, is by getting your first Victory Royale in any of the core modes. So if you get this in a solo, duo, or squad game in build or zero build, your first win of the season, you'll unlock this glider for free. I'm sure most of you guys know that, but uh, you know, since we already have it unlocked, I thought I should include this in the video since it is a free reward that everyone's able to get right at the launch of a new season. Oh! Wait, what? Why is there so many people here? Are these guys teaming? Get the heck out of here, bro. There's so many people here. Now, the second free reward is actually an upcoming PlayStation Celebration uh, Cup that a lot of you guys are actually going to be able to participate in here in Fortnite Season 4 to earn a free bonus reward. Fire Monkey tweeted out over on Twitter saying, New tournament, the PlayStation Cup Solos, is going to be on September 22nd, 23rd, and 25th. So every other day, top players at the end of each qualifier will advance to the finals. And how this works is for everyone that at least earns 8 points, you are able to earn this spray emoticon right here for free as a bonus reward. And it's actually going to be exclusive to this cup. So it's never going to be coming out into the item shop and it'll pretty much be like a uh, pretty rare reward to get throughout this season. Now, unfortunately, it is only for people on PlayStation, but even if you have a PS4 or a PS5, any of those will do. And for those of you guys that are participating, good luck. Hopefully you guys could win, earn some bonus rewards, and uh, just do well in the tournament. Now, this next Easter egg here is something that I didn't even realize myself. That's how secretive and very, very sneaky Epic Games was with this. What's going on? Oh, wait, Man Cake is shooting the wolf. Bro, I've never seen this. Why are they beefing? Okay, well, Mancake just destroyed the wolf. GG's, man. I was worried for you for a second. This guy is just not even worried about a thing. But Sheena BR, a known data miner over on Twitter, actually tweeted out something that uh, I feel like a lot of people didn't realize when Season 4 first initially launched. He tweeted saying, Epic may have hinted at the upcoming Luke Skywalker collaboration in the Season 4 cinematic trailer. Remember that Epic already added two versions of his lightsabers in previous Star Wars updates, so there is most likely going to be a collaboration coming. And uh, yeah, as you guys know, last season we had Darth Vader, and when they did bring back lightsabers, we did get Luke Skywalker's green saber, but we didn't get a Luke Skywalker skin, so a lot of people were a little bit confused about that. But if you actually take a look at a few of the frames here in the Season 4 cinematic launch trailer that you've all probably seen... Oh my god. Bro, I thought I was playing solos and I'm, I, I think I'm playing squads. I don't know what's happening. But as I was saying, in this frame right here in the cinematic trailer for season four, you guys can see there's like these little incubators. And uh, if you take a close look at these, you can see silhouettes of what is in all three of these. So on the far left one, we have a loot llama. On the far right one, there is literally a banana, which some people are thinking they're doing testing on Peely. And then in the middle, it appears to be a silhouette of a legitimate person sitting there floating in this little capsule. And if you take a look in one of the Star Wars movies, Luke Skywalker is actually in one of these in the exact same position that uh, this silhouette of a person is in the cinematic trailer. Now, obviously this is not 100% confirmed, but considering we've had Luke Skywalker's sabers in game, but we've never had a skin for him released, 
This could be Epic's way of really early on hinting at the fact that we are going to be getting a Luke Skywalker skin or bigger collaboration later down the line. And I thought that was really interesting because of how secretive and just very low key this was on Epic's part. So I wanted to share that with you guys and get your feedback. And who knows, with this Easter egg, there could be a massive scar... There could be another massive Star Wars collaboration where on top of a Luke Skywalker skin, we actually get other characters as well that have not been released in Fortnite. So there's a lot of possibilities with this. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts, but I thought that was really cool that people were able to slightly see the silhouettes of these things in the incubators when, when I watched it, I didn't even realize. Now, the next bunch of secret rewards, and the reason I say secret is just mainly because Fortnite hasn't really promoted this a lot, but there is a brand new event that just came out at the beginning of season four called the Re Reboot Rally event and it's very similar to the previous events we've seen where it's reboot a friend where basically the entire premise is you need to get friends that have not played much Fortnite over the last month or two to come back and play Fortnite and reach certain levels and complete quests and challenges with you. Now, in order to sign up for this and actually activate this, you need to go over to the Fortnite website. If you look up Reboot Rally, it'll come up. But, and I'm not going to go too in-depth on all the challenges and everything, but I do want to cover the free rewards because out of all the possible events, this one has four free rewards and three of them are actually really, really cool. So after you complete 50 points, you will get the barbecue emoticon, which is probably the worst free reward out of the bunch. And then once you get 100 points, you actually get the freshly forged weapon wrap, which looks really, really cool. At 150 points, you're able to get the red hot revenge pickaxe, which again is a really awesome reward. And then once you get 200 points, the final reward a part of this event as the fiery descent glider which obviously all of these follow a very fire and molten lava theme so i think they look really really cool oh yo there's a vault down here it's a one cure as well all right let's go we just randomly found this key this is my first time finding a vault and we actually have bay bros in here what's going on my friend i've never found one of these vaults but dude the loot is insane and this is just a one key vault if you guys didn't realize there's vaults that require two keys that actually have better loot than these ones, so it's insane. There's more guys over here. I'm gonna push this way, even though we're not really going towards zone, we're going towards the slow side of zone. So it should make it a little bit easier to rotate if need be. I'm pretty sure there's another guy over here. What happened? Get the heck out of here, Marshmallow. Now, for the final set of hidden and secret rewards that uh, became available at the beginning of the season is actually for an upcoming collaboration Fortnite is going to be doing with Discord, which is actually pretty surprising because up until this point, they've never actually worked together. But Discord has obviously been a really big part of the gaming community and gaming scene, so it's really surprising. Bro, these guys are literally psychopaths. You're just unloading on me. Okay, I made it in the bush. There is so many enemies. Literally, I am surrounded by squads. And I, I didn't even realize at the start that I was solo squatting. So this is really, really scary. I'm dead. I'm literally dead. I'm dead! There's nowhere to hide! Why am I playing squads? Like, what? I'm actually so annoyed. I never play squads, ever. I only do solos, so why when I go to zero build, does it put me in a squad game, dude? I am... Uh, it is what it is. We got a lot of action, but there's just, there's no chance I win that. Like, what am I supposed to do there? I have four dudes spraying at me in a truck. Like, come on. But like I was saying, there's not a lot of information for the upcoming Fortnite times Discord collaboration, other than the fact that there is two free rewards, a part of the files that data miners were able to find. The first one is this weird looking tree banner icon. And the second one is actually this weapon wrap right here, which goes along with the Chrome theme. Again, we don't know how we're going to earn these. We don't know if there's going to be quests or if you need to link your Discord account to the Fortnite account, similar to what they do with Twitch rewards. But these are going to be coming out at some point during this season. And um, I think the weapon wrap is pretty cool. So it's going to be a really easy set of free rewards to earn. But with all that being said, that is all the secret and hidden free rewards available right now in season four. Obviously, as the season goes on, there will definitely be more and I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.